Hey guys, today we're putting a blood module inside this 2011 Mustang. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install your own 12 volt switch so you can toggle your blips on and off, and also how to properly tap your clutch and brake on this model year. Good friend Andrew picked up this low mile Mustang recently and he has been absolutely loving it. I'll put the list of mods in the description below. So let's get after it. I have covered in a previous video installing the accelerator pedal harness, so I won't go over that today, but you can click the card in the top right hand corner and it'll take you over to the GT350 install, which uses the same accelerator pedal as this 2011. So we already have the module in the glove box with the 20 pin and the accelerator pedal harness installed. So now we'll move on to tapping the clutch and brake switches. The clutch will need to be tapped at pin one. And the best way to do this is to quarter turn the whole housing, pull it out of its mounting bracket, and it'll bring it nice and low to make tapping way easier. You can refer back to the GT350 install video on how to properly tap using a posi tap or see the link in the description below. Now we can repeat the same process with the brake switch, this time on pin four. Now onto the 12 volt switch. The module at peak operation draws no more than 125 milliamps way less than any half amp fuse you have in your vehicle right now. So feel free to tap any constant 12 volt source that you'd like. For today's example, we're gonna be tapping pin one of the brake light switch circuit. Now that we have the constant 12 volt picked out, we're gonna go ahead and run all the appropriate wires to the correct parts of the switch. Almost all switches running LED, like the one in this diagram, will have three prongs. One to ground the LED, and two for your 12 volts to flow through. The diagram shows the vehicle power running through one side of the switch and out of the other to the module to supply power. The ground can be any paintless surface with a ground lug or tapped into any ground underneath the dash. A couple grounds you can choose from are brake switch pin two or clutch switch pin three. In Andrew's vehicle, we're gonna be drilling a hole in the knee panel just below the steering wheel to flush mount his 12 volt switch. Let's go ahead and put everything back together and we'll take her out on the street to see how she does. have any questions or comments or suggestions or anything at all leave it in the comment section below we'll get back to you as fast as we can thanks again we'll see you in the next one